All right, we'll go ahead and get started with, uh, with Santa Clara, uh, joined by head coach Rusty Filter, uh, student athlete Skylar Hales, and Michael O'Hara. Uh, we'll take questions. Uh, we'll take an opening statement from uh, Coach Filter first, followed by questions for the student athletes. Let them go, uh, and then questions for Coach Filter. Uh, if you are joining us on Zoom, if you use the raise your hand function, uh, we will get to you towards the end of questions for both parties. So, uh, Coach, go ahead and get us started with an opening statement. Awesome. Well, thank you for uh, uh, for coming out today. Um, we're we're super excited to uh, to be here. Uh, in Fayetteville. Um, I'm super proud of my team, Santa Clara Broncos. Um, we finished the season uh, playing pretty good baseball. We had to win our way here. Uh, we finished the season, I think our last 20 games, 17 and three, um, two win streaks, one of nine games and, and one of eight games uh, currently. Uh, couldn't be prouder of these guys. We've, we've been through a lot. It's been 26 years since Santa Clara has been in postseason play. Um, we've addressed that uh, day one when, when we started. Um, this senior class, I'm very proud of. It's our first recruiting class. And, uh, you know, we're just excited for the opportunity to come play baseball and uh, experience this great environment. Um, initially, uh, we knew we were in. Um, we had to sit through the, um, the presentation, the show of, of where teams would go. Uh, had to wait for the final one. Um, I thought there was a possibility they would keep us keep us out west, but there weren't too many options. So um, I had told my team, uh, I hope we get the most amazing experience available in college baseball, and I believe that this is that place. So we're excited to be here, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, to competing and showing showing the country what Bronco baseball is all about. So, hey, Coach, uh, questions for the student athletes? We've got mics to pass. Yeah, I got a question for both guys. What is it? The, the nine game and then the eight game, what has come together for you guys? What has brought you here? Um, yeah, I'd start with end of last year, we were making a good playoff rush, and then just things started falling off, the wheels fell off the bus, and this year, all year long, we started stressing finish, finish. And so when we got the opportunity this year, the boys have just brought us all closer together, and we really took it into our own hands, build that culture, and just finish the season off how we believe we should. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, like you said last year, um, kind of a tough finish. And um, coming into this year, like using the experience that we had, kind of preaching from September, like, hey, man, stuff's going to happen. Like, it, stuff's not going to go well. Um, you know, we're going to run into some things. It's just, you know, sticking sticking together, man. You know, like grabbing the guy next to you and just saying, let's just ride, man, take whatever happens. And I think we kind of stay off the scoreboard for the most part, you know, and don't really look at who's across it in the other dugout and just doing what we do. and. Everything kind of took care of itself there towards the end and taking that into the tournament. Even with a Friday afternoon game, Arkansas, so they're probably going to get ten or 11,000 in here tomorrow. Um, not saying West Coast baseball isn't good, but you know a lot of the West Coast teams don't, don't draw like that. I guess there's more stuff to do out there surfing or whatever. I <laughs> uh, just, just wonder what you guys think about you know, getting to play in that kind of atmosphere. I personally can't wait, man. I can't wait. I'm an outfielder, so I know there's going to be, you know, a good amount of people out there, something to say, and, and, and people down here have been nothing but nice so far, you know. And I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Played in, you know, some big games in my life, but you know, ten or eleven thousand, it's you know, it's new. It's new, but it's it is so exciting. I, I I just can't wait to get out there, man. To be honest, yeah. Yeah, same here. I mean, it's a moment we dream of since little kids. I mean, playing at the highest level you can, bringing that crowd and attention, just really just puts you in the moment and surreal and super excited and looking forward to it. So Michael, if, if you know fans, sometimes they get a little uh, stoked, I guess. Are you looking forward to maybe some interaction if they oh, yell some stuff at you? Man. Absolutely, I live for it. I live for it. Even at the WCC tournament, you know, there's not nearly as many people here, but there are still some, you know, and you just kind of live for it, you know, whether it's the opposing, opposing bullpen or, you know, someone else, it's like, as soon as your name gets out of conversation, that's when you got to worry. You know, if they're if they're on you, that's that's a good sign. You know, and, and I'm looking forward to that stuff, man. It's you kind of, you know, whether you make an impact on a little kid, um, you know, you you, may, you have a good impact on on somebody, or you know, just kind of having a you know friendly friendly chirp with with another fan. It's it's a good time, man. So I I'm looking forward to it for sure. Tape on your is your thumb okay? Yeah, it's all right, man. You know, we had a little little accident uh, halfway through the year, um, trying to get down a bunt, didn't go very well, but it hasn't. Uh, Hasn't had too much effect on on the rest of the year, so we're rolling, we're playing through it, and no worries. Thanks. 
Hey, Michael, uh, Arkansas has announced one of the two left-handers, Hunter Holland. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten to see much video? What What do you see of his repertoire? Haven't seen Haven't seen anything yet, to be honest. Uh, we uh, We kind of just take things one day at a time. You know, throughout the whole year, it's been kind of the morning uh, the morning review. We kind of have a scouting meeting that day. What we're going to get. Don't take too much stock into into who it is. No no disrespect at all. It's just what we do. It's it's that guy that day. We see what he's got and we have a game plan for that day. So just taking one thing at a time. Scott, on your repertoire, I, we we see the 100, 100 miles per hour, one start. What what do you maybe feel like your role could end up being this weekend? Um, yeah, I'm just here for wherever the team needs me, whether it's starting a game, closing a game, being the setup guy. I just whatever the situation calls for, I'm here to help put the team in the best position to win a ball game. Uh, Michael, I, I was looking at y'all's splits. Y'all actually hit a little bit better against lefties, granted a lot smaller sample size. Just what, what do you think is about that? Is it maybe just the roster construction, or is there a different approach against lefties, or what do you think about that? I mean, our, our roster is so diverse, especially from when I got here to now. It's like we had probably three lefties my freshman year, and now you look at it, and it's just you know left, right, left, right, left, right. It's, it's kind of relentless. Um, but it just goes back to how we how we train. It's, you know, not really taking too much stock into who's on the bump. You still got to throw it over your plate. You got to, you know, don't let him in. And if he does, make him pay for it. You know, that's that's kind of all. That's all it is. If we don't left or right, doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah, not, I don't say there's any. There's not much to that. I don't think. Yeah. Um, Mike, I assume you've hit off Skyler in practice. <laughs> well, what, what would you say about him? How hard is he to hit? And what, uh, just without giving away secrets, what would be yeah, a scouting report on him? Yeah, all I can say it ain't a fun of bat. He's he's on there. He's on the bump, and he's on you. You know, he's he's an imposing presence just physically, and then he gets down that mound, and he's you know he's all over you. We uh, you know practicing this this fall. Uh, we didn't have a field, didn't have a home field. It was under construction. We're going to you know high schools and whatnot to practice. So we'd roll up at 8:30 in the morning. He's the first guy on the bump at nine. You know, you're the second at bat of the morning. You're like trying to find a way. I think that's you know that's been nothing but helpful to us down the stretch. But yeah, he's uh, you know it's not fun. <laughs> that's all I'll say. Any more questions for the student athletes? Fellas, thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You guys need. Good. Yep, you're good to go. Sweet. Thanks. You get to stay, coach. <laughs> oh, see you. Thank you. Thanks, so. Make sure they're ready to go at 2.30, Mike. Yep. All right, questions for <coughs> Coach Filter. I'd like to make a, a, another comment here. Yeah. So, you know, these are, these are two young men that, uh, you know, epitomize kind of what we're all about. Um, it's a team-first mentality. Um, we don't have a we don't have one player on the first team all conference team. Um, we've got three on the second team, a bunch of honorable mention, and the question often gets gets asked. Um, you know, we've got a young man that's, you know, got a bright future on the mound in Skylar Hales that kind of gave you the answer that epitomizes what we're all about. What it, whatever it takes, we're going to try. Um, you know, people ask often about philosophy. It's whatever gives us the best chance to win. And we have to adjust constantly. And I couldn't be prouder of these two, two young men of, of, of what they've become. Uh, I feel very fortunate to, to, to be the head coach at Santa Clara University. Um, we are a small school in Northern California. Um, we get tremendous support from our administration. And all things are now uh, moving in the right direction uh, to really grow the program. And this is just another step for us. All right, we'll open up questions. Go ahead. Yeah, Coach, could you tell us who your starting pitcher will be tomorrow? Cole Kitchen. Uh, Cole Kitchen's a senior right-hand pitcher. He's been a Friday night starter um, for the last three years. Um, he's been a starting pitcher since the day he walked in. Uh, he was uh, a freshman. He was an opener. We'd go two to three innings with him or one time through the lineup. Um, he was a two-way player, really good athlete, left-hand hitter that we thought would be an outfielder. Um, but his, has, has, his progression uh, came pretty quick. Um, so once he once he really solidified that Friday role, we we no longer allowed him to to be a two way player. So he's a very competitive young man. Um, you might hear him from the press box when he's not pitching. Uh, he's definitely a leader of the team, and uh, you know he will he will go out there and compete. I think he will handle the moment the best. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to to Cole Kitchen going on Friday night, Friday yeah. afternoon. And y'all have got several bullpen arms that have been, had really successful years. Just how comforting is it having the bullpen that you do to, to be there whenever he's done? Yeah, so, you know, 
like anything, it's been a work in progress. Um, they've all they've all gotten to pitch since their freshman year. Um, you know, people will say, "Who's your best pitcher?" I don't. I can't really answer that. Um, we're comfortable with with a lot of guys, um, especially when we get to the fourth or fifth arm. Uh, we feel like uh, that's a strength of ours. And you know, we went through our our conference tournament four games, and we pitched two guys a night. Uh, nobody repeated. Nobody came back. So we threw eight guys, and um, you know, that's kind of that's kind of what we do. What's your scouting report on Arkansas? When you say, well, I know that uh, you know very well coached. Um, I don't know Coach Van Horn. Um, I do know Matt Hobbs. I've known Matt Hobbs for a long time. I know he's a terrific coach. I know they're a very physical, athletic group. Um, you know, I think 83 home runs, uh, 49 stolen bases. Stolen bases. Uh, we're getting Holland, who's been their Sunday starter the entire year with 14 starts. Um, you know, we have the information. Um, you know, you had asked about, you know, what do we know about those guys? Well. You know, we try to assess all situations and formulate a plan, and then you know, implementing can be easier on some than others. And I think this is a situation; uh, it's going to be difficult, um, you know, until we get out there and and the game starts. Um, but we do know quite a bit about them through our through our scouting and and the, the tools that we use. Um, so we're we're just super excited to to get a chance to play. There's some metrics out there that say this is the toughest regional. You guys are really hot. TCU's hot. Just your thought about, you know, being a part of this particular region. Yeah, yeah. I think it, you know, you got the number three seed in the country um, that's had a, a really a really good season, um, you know, in the SEC. Uh, you've got another team, TCU, who we went and played last year, three games at their place. Um, you know, really, you know, strong history. Arizona out west has also had a really strong uh, history. Um, I think they're playing very well, getting to their conference um, conference tournament final. Um, so yeah, I think the I think the field is very strong. Um, when you look at the uh, offensive numbers from all four teams, I mean that that's that's really going to jump jump at you. And uh, I haven't been on this field, but I've heard that it's very offensive. Um, so you know we'll see we'll see how that kind of plays itself out. Hey, Russ, you guys sound pretty excited about playing in the atmosphere Arkansas is going to have. What, how, how do you think you're how, – how much are you looking forward to? How much do you think your team's looking forward to? Because some teams really struggle with that. You, you guys sound like you're excited about it. Yeah, we're going to embrace it. I mean, we've, you know, we've had a couple days after our tournament to, uh, you know, put the woo pig on repeat uh, as loud as it will go in our park. Um, you know, these are all things that um, look. We're 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 a bunch of guys that are just baseball players. That's what we are. There's there's, you know, probably a few kids that maybe in the future could become superstars. But right now they play for each other. Um, we don't really care where this would have ended up. Um, we were excited no matter where it was going to be. Um, but now I, I think to tell you that you know everything is going to be fine. I think a lot of coaches would want to say that, but I can't answer that until until we get in the environment, um, but definitely excited for sure. Um, you know, and I think, I think we have experience. Um, we have guys with a lot of Division One at bats and innings pitched. Uh, they've been to Georgia, they've been to A&M, you know, they've been yelled at for throwing five balls in a row. Uh, uh, you know, we went to Georgia, we got a game at A&M, we got a game at Georgia. Um, so they've been in some pretty big environments. Um, you know, I think a little more at stake in this situation. So um, I'm hoping that through their training and experience that uh, they'll be able to handle the moment. Um, myself, I don't, you know, I'm just kind of standing in the dugout and observing what's going on. I have to make a few decisions. So I'm um, definitely excited to, to see my boys and, and see how they, how they perform. You mentioned knowing Matt. I know he's a California guy too. Do, do you remember how you all met or just kind of how, how yeah. would you describe your friendship and what, what do you think of Matt? Sure. So Matt, I think Matt was at UC San Diego. Um, he's traveled. He's traveled to um, a lot of different universities as he's gained experience, and I think he's he's you know looked upon as one of the best pitching coaches in the country. Um, you know, we've always stayed in contact. Um, you know, over the years, whether it's you know we're involved we're involved in a you know a, a pitching Zoom, um, you know whatever it could be. Um, he's I'll, I will see him on the West Coast at times. Um, you know, so we've had a relationship uh, for for quite some time, and you know, I, I'm I'm really pleased with what he's been able to do, and happy for him.
No, it's not the same TCU team, but what stood out to you about them as a program last year? Well, I think, you know, <laughs> a guy on first base, he's, he's going to second at some point. Um, you know, their stolen base numbers are, are through the roof. They've done a really good job with that piece of it. Um, Sarlus, you know, is, is, he's a West Coast guy, a guy as well, coming from Cal State Fullerton, uh, then going to TCU, and another great pitching coach. Um, his new offensive coach, TJ Bruce, I've known uh, since he was a player at Long Beach State. I know he's an aggressive guy. Um, so I think um, they, they play with some confidence. They're also very physical, uh, very athletic. Um, so I think it's a, it's a good challenge for anybody. Coach, appreciate your time. Good luck tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thank you very much. Bronco up.